हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड सिस्टम डेवलपमेंट अ यूज केस ड्रिवन अप्रोच द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल दैट इज द एस डी एल सी कंसिस ऑफ थ्री मैक्रो प्रोसेसेस ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड एनालिसिस ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड डिजाइन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड दिज थ्री मैक्रो प्रोसेसेस दे आर इटरेटिव एंड यूज अगेन एंड अगेन that's why we call it as iterative and reuse let us see the diagram as you can see in the diagram the analysis process has three phases in the first phase we build a use case model and then the object analysis is carried out and then validation and testing is done and again we go back and again build a use case model so this is iterative so that we can refine the analysis then coming to the design phase here in the design we have to design classes and define attributes then build objects and dynamic model and then build user interface and prototype after this the user satisfaction test usability test and the quality assurance test they are carried out and again we go back to the design classes and define attributes phase and this is again repeated so that we are able to refine the design then coming to the implementation in the implementation we have the tools case and object oriented programming language so here the implementation is done and then the user satisfaction usability and quality assurance test they are carried out again this is also a iterative process so all these processes we can have the analysis then after that design and again you, we can go back to the analysis that's why we have shown the arrows in this four directions then the object oriented system development includes these activities object oriented analysis that is the use case driven analysis then object oriented design prototyping then component based development and incremental testing the object oriented system development encourages you to view the problem as a system of cooperative objects so it advocates incremental development let us see the details of each of these object oriented analysis use case driven the object oriented analysis phase of software development is concerned with determining the system requirements and identifying classes and their relationship to other classes in the problem domain so to understand the system requirements we need to identify the users or the actors so who are the users and how do they use the system that is the question scenarios are used to help analysts understand the requirements ivar jacobson came with the concept of use case the name used for a scenario to describe the user computer interaction scenarios are a great way of examining who does what in the interaction among objects and what role they play that is their interrelationship this intersection among object roles to achieve a given goal is called collaboration a use case is a typical interaction between user and system that captures user's goal and needs in a simplest usage you capture a use case by talking to a typical users discussing the various things they might want to do with the system expressing these high level processes and interactions with customers in a scenario and analyzing it is referred to as use case model the use case model represents the user's view of the system or user's needs this process of developing use cases like other object oriented activities is iterative that's what we have seen the figure uh, there we have seen that this activities are iterative now once your use case model is better understood and developed you should start to identify classes 
and to create the relation then let us go to the object oriented design the goal of object oriented design that is ood is to design the classes identified during the analysis phase and the user interface during this phase we identify and define additional objects and classes that support implementation of requirements for example during the design phase you might need to add objects for user interface to the system for example data entry windows browse windows then object oriented design and object oriented analysis are distinct disciplines but they can be intertwined so you can go from the design phase to the analysis phase and then from analysis phase to the design phase that is the meaning so first build the object model based on objects and their relationship then iterate and refine the model these are the things which are done iteratively design and refine classes design and refine attributes design and refine methods design and refine structures design and refine association so the guidelines to use in your object oriented design use rather than build a new class know the existing class then design a large number of simple classes rather than a small number of complex because the complex classes the implementation will be difficult then critic what you have proposed that means you have to analyze what you have proposed if possible go back and refine the class so that is the iterative step you have to follow then next let us go to the prototyping it is important to construct a prototype of some of the key components shortly after the products are selected it has been said a picture may be worth a thousand words but a prototype is worth a thousand pictures so a prototype is a version of software product developed in early stage of products life cycle for specific experimental purpose a prototype enables you to fully understand how easy or difficult it will be to implement some of the features of the system it also can give you a chance to comment on the usability and usefulness of user interface design and lets you to assess the fit between software tools selected and the functional specification and the user need prototypes have been categorized in various ways horizontal prototype vertical prototype analysis prototype domain prototype let us go to the horizontal prototype a horizontal prototype is a simulation of interface but contains no functionality this has an advantage of being very quick to implement providing a good overall feel of the system and allowing users to evaluate the interface on the basis of normal expected perception of the system then let us go to the vertical prototype a vertical prototype is a subset of system features with complete functionality the advantage of this method is that a few implemented functions can be tested in depth in practice prototypes are hybrid between horizontal and vertical then let us go to the analysis prototype it is an aid for exploring the problem domain this class of prototype is used to inform the user and demonstrate the proof of a concept it is discarded when it has served its purpose and it is not used for the software development then domain prototype this prototype is aid for the incremental development of the ultimate software solution it is often used as a tool for stage delivery of subsystem to the user or members of development team prototyping is useful exercise at almost any stage of development it should be done in parallel with the preparation of the functional specific then let us go to the next that is implementation component based development component based manufacturing makes many products available to the marketplace that otherwise would be expensive computer aided software engineering that is caac case tools allow their users to rapidly develop information systems the main goal of case technology is the automation of the entire information systems development life cycle process using a set of integrated software tools such as modeling methodology and automatic code generation 
component based development that is cbd is an industrialized approach to the software development process application development moves from custom development to assembly of pre built pre tested reusable software components that operate with each other a cbd developer can assemble components to construct a complex software system let us go to the rapid application development rapid application development rad is a set of tools and techniques that can be used to build applications faster than typical possible with traditional method rad is concerned primarily with reducing the time to market not exclusively the software development time so the task of rad is to build the application quickly and incrementally implement the design and the user requirement through tools such as delphi visual edge visual basic power builder let us go to the incremental testing in this testing each module is tested individually in unit testing phase and then modules are integrated incrementally and tested to ensure smooth interface and interaction between modules incremental testing does not wait for whole system to be completed for testing integrated modules are tested as a group to ensure successful integration and data flow between modules so with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos on this subject then thanks for watching have a nice day